G'day guys. In today's video, I'm just going to point out a particular charging flaw that I've noticed with a fair few different Lenovo models. So if I hold this up to here, we are a 1000S-14IBR. And this is pretty much going to happen on a fair few different models as well. So I've already disconnected the battery up here. And what I'm going to do is hopefully do the cheat version of fixing this and solder the connection. So if we zoom in, I'm not sure if we'll be able to pick it up on the camera, but we've got this little bit of copper here. Right here, which it does a bit of a S, or S bend to it. So it bends up, down, and joins to the back of the block over here. Except the issue that we've got right now is that it has snapped off the back of the charger port. I really don't want to have to go to the effort of replace, taking the board out to replace it. So hopefully I can just get enough solder down there to be able to get that back together. So that's what I'm going to be trying right now. Hopefully you guys playing at home can do a similar thing. Hopefully with a bit of luck and a little bit of skill. Okay, take a closer look. Then the easiest way to test after that, if you have successfully joined it, would be a multimeter in resistance. Check the pin. That is looking promising. Sorry, you guys can't actually see that. Pin to pin. I'm just struggling to keep it on there. There we go. There, right on. Once you've done that, we should be able to plug the battery back in. We'll touch this up a bit further and add a bit more solder to it. Next up, turn your multimeter onto voltage. Put that onto an earth, onto a power, and I would have suspected we would be getting some form of voltage right now. Nope, a whole lot of nothing. Nope, back to the drawing board. Or it might help if I had the other end of this plugged in. There we go, power in. Still getting no charge light. That's looking much better. So yeah, literally what I put is a blob of power, uh, solder just on the back of here, just to bridge that gap. And we'll tidy it up a bit more. But that is a quick, straightforward repair on this model, which is quite prone for it to actually happening. 
I'm used to also seeing it on early Asus laptops as well from about uh, the Windows 7 era. But I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit more. Put a little bit more solder on there, a bit of flux. And hopefully this should be all good to go. Anyway, this may assist you with your Lenovo laptop if it isn't charging. Bye.